I came in with my ex Flex a lead, not a flex ay. Bumping Justin B, a better fear right? What's up guys, it's Aiden And today I'll be breaking down exactly How the viral Drake AI song Hot on my sleeve was made Let's get into the video. This song was produced by Ghostwriter977, and we'll, today I'll be showing you exactly how the vocals were made, as well as how the instrumental was made. We have some important points that I want to bring to your attention, but if you want to skip forward straight into the remake, then here's a link right there. I want to thank you all so much for helping us reach 250,000 subscribers. That is amazing. It's truly amazing for me personally, just to see how many people are interested in improving their own music production. And I am truly grateful to every single one of you, and I hope this channel has helped you in some way, shape or form. So with this big milestone comes some big changes to the channel. Trap Masters is our new brand name moving forward, as I think it better showcases what we do on this channel, which is deconstruct the most popular songs from the most popular artists to show you exactly how they were made and why they were so successful. Secondly, we've completely updated the Patreon page with brand new tiers offering loads of benefits to you guys. So you can find exclusive live streams. You can upload your beats to be featured in these videos for exposure. You can get monthly track feedback from me and other producers and so, so much more. So I definitely recommend checking out the Patreon if you're serious about improving your music production. Finally, we have an exciting new remix content with WA Production, where you'll be challenged with remixing one of my original tracks, Roulette, which is actually playing in the background now. There's over $2,000 worth of prizes for the winners, including cash, plugins, and a one hour live phone call with me, where you can ask me questions, talk about music, give feedback on your own beats, and anything else you'd like. First off, I'd like to speak directly to Ghostwriter977 and give whoever this person may be my sincere, honest congratulations. I truly believe that this song that you created marks a new era in the music industry, as this is the first viral song to use AI to convert the timbre of someone's voice into the likes of Drake or any other artist for that matter. This is a Drake song that has absolutely nothing to do with Drake incredible because the existence of this song and the many other songs like it signifies the beginning of the unbelievable, brilliant, devastating impacts that AI vocal timbre conversion will have on the music industry. I'll be discussing this more in depth later in this video, but for now, let's just jump into the deconstruction. Let me start off by saying that this beat was not created by AI. The beat was in fact created by a human. And for that matter, the vocals were likely written by a human. The vocals were sung by a human. The only thing that AI has actually done is convert the timbre of Ghost Runner 977's voice into Drake's voice. So I'd like to make this very important point first. First, I think one of the reasons why this song went so viral is because the piano sounds so robotic that many listeners might have misinterpreted the track as being entirely written by AI, including the beat and the vocals and the lyrics and everything, which is simply not the case. Let's start off with the piano. The exact preset that was used you can find in Addictive Keys, and it's a heavily modified version of the Intense Keys preset. I spent 18 hours on this remake, and the vast majority of that time was spent making sure that this preset was sounding as accurate as possible. As you can see, we're using the Close Rib microphone as well as the Amp Tube microphone. So they're gonna sound like this individually and we're bringing this filter down to 76% and making this volume envelope. Then on the master, we're gonna be adding this aggressive EQ as well as some aggressive compression and it's all very aggressive. Then we're playing this melody. As you can see, we're playing these brief notes on the lower octaves, which adds a very subtle yet beautiful complexity to the harmonic depth. Without this, I don't think the piano would have sounded as rich and gone as viral as the original song did. We're gonna be adding OTT, which is a multi-band compressor. It's free, go check it out. Add some compression, some RC20 retro color, adding some air distortion, bringing up the tone, some chorus and some reverb. Super wide if you're listening to it on headphones, but we're bringing it down to mono. And this plays throughout the whole song, but we're removing this section when a second piano comes in, when the weekend comes in. Then we have another piano, which sounds like this. One final piano coming in, and this is a bass piano, which comes in at these two points right here. So that's it for the pianos. Next up, we have the drums. We only have two different drum samples, the identical hi-hat and the identical snare. The hi-hat we're using is the hit one hi-hat sample. Very common sample in trap music and going to the envelope slash instrument settings and making this envelope with the sus 100% and everything else down to zero. So this means that the hi-hat is only playing for as long as you play it in the MIDI. So if I made these notes longer, it would sound like this. But we just want that initial little part of the hi-hat playing. This is the original song. This is the hi-hat. 
Next up, we have the identical snare, but we're not playing it down at C, playing it up at F. Shout out to Sulphur on my Discord server who sent me the exact sample. We have an amazing community filled with music producers who are constantly analyzing tracks to find the exact presets and samples that they use. This server is called Trap Masters. You can check it out in the link in the description. Next up, we have the 808. The exact 808 that was used was the Spins 808. We're going to be modifying it. So we're going to go into the envelope settings, making the envelope with the sus 100%, everything down at zero. And what you're going to want to do is boost it by 10% and make sure that clip is turned on. At this volume level, it's very important to add a clipper to the actual sample and not just add a clipper to the master, like using Fruity Soft Clipper. It's important to have the 808 sample already clipped before it's actually routed to the master. And this is because if it still has headroom when it reaches the master, it's going to be blowing the other instruments out of the mix. So if I turn off clip, it's going to sound like this. And then when you turn it on. Very minor thing to do, but it's very important to do. That's it for the beat. If you want to dive even further into how this beat was made, you can access the FLP and the stems on my Patreon page. Now, before we dive into the vocal production, I would like to say that I don't condone making music in this way. And I'd like to point out the two most important legal and ethical concerns regarding the use of generative AI to mimic Drake or any other artist for that matter. Point number one, it is illegal to use copyrighted material without the original copyright owner's permission. This includes using generative AI to mimic the artist's voice because the AI was trained on previous Drake songs in which his voice was copyrighted, thus illegal. This issue becomes amplified when money is involved. Put simply, if the AI Drake song is making money for not Drake, Drake becomes sad. The second point I'd like to make is what I call the bad dad dilemma. With generative AI, you can now make Drake say anything. In the case of this song, you can make him spit flames, and arguably this song has some better lyrics than some of Drake's original recent tracks. So that's still illegal, but it's not too bad. It gets worse when you start making him say things that he wouldn't want to say, so you could misinterpret him entirely to negatively impact his public image. For instance, Drake has had many controversies in the past, one of which being the rumor back in 2019 that he was a bad father and neglected his son Adonis. Since then, he has clearly tried to change that perspective in the eyes of the public and whether or not it was the case that he was a bad father or not it doesn't matter you can now use ai to write lyrics for him to speak about being a bad father scary but with all that being said this was me recreating the vocals for singing drake songs you want it to be like you're getting a lot of noise coming through this so like the top of your mouth his voice is very nasally eh, i am drake eh. <laughs> Uh, you'll hear it like I came in with my I came in with my ex like Selena to flex a hey. bumping Justin Bieber but a fever ain't left a hey. she know what she need oh I need oh she bless anyway <laughs> so we're going to be uploading those vocals to an AI generator, which will convert the timbre of my voice into the likes of Drake. Once again, I definitely don't condone using this service. This is merely an educational video, and I don't want to promote this at all to anyone who doesn't want to get sued. So I uploaded my vocals, ran it through the program, downloaded it, and that's going to sound like this. I came in with my ex like Selena to flex, ay. Bumping Justin Bieber, but a fever ain't left, ay. She know what she need, oh, I need, oh. Now, it's not done yet. A couple of things you want to do first off is add a de -esser. I'm just going to be using Ozone Pro Dynamic EQ and use Band Shelf and I'm basically just going to bring it up from around 4,000 hertz. She know what she need, oh I need. Now I already had some compression on my vocals so I didn't need to add that. Adding some auto-tune artist, making sure that he's in key, which is going to make his voice more robotic, which once again works for an AI song of course, but it also is what Drake uses in his original songs. And also we're adding some Valhalla Room, bringing the mix to 15%, so some light reverb on top. It's going to sound like this. I I came in with my ex like Selena to flex hey. Talking to a diva, now she on my nerves She think that I need her Now I didn't bother adding the weekend, you can do it yourself if you really want to But yeah, you, you get the point So the final arrangement is going to look like this And we're going to be adding Drake's vocals in So this is the final result I came in with my ex like Selena to flex hey. Bumping Justin Bieber, but a fever ain't left she know what she need, oh I need, oh she bless, hey, give it to my best, hey. Anyway, that's it for the remake. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to see some more of this content, check out our last video, a detailed deconstruction of Drake's most recent single, right here. Search and rescue. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Why are you still here? Click the video. It's very good, I promise. See you later.